Okay. Launch yourself by Brian Orgy. It's a master class on personal branding. I taught this class at the Vegas State Technical and Vocational Education Board training um, some weeks back. Okay. At the risk of sounding like every other person who has ever made a screencast video that I've watched, you know, they have a way of sounding disengaged, but then making a lot of sense so that it doesn't get to be too serious. Well, I'm not. I'm very engaged, and I just want to share with you some of the thoughts I shared in that class. So I'll just move from here down. Oh, sorry. That was too fast. Oh, okay. Um, in this course, we're going to talk about defining, designing, and delivering your personal brand. Launch yourself. You are a brand. Yeah, big story. I'm sure you knew that already. So I started to say things that are new, not things that everybody already knew, like, hi, um, Nigeria is a country, right? <laughs> but just an aside, yeah. Anyway, you know, a lot of people, when they want to write essays, like, okay, what happened in Nigeria in 1960? Or in, they always begin with, like, Nigeria is a nation of over 180 million people. <laughs> Stop it already. Yeah. You know, it just goes with the point. So what is the personal branding? Now, this question is for you to decide what you think it is. Um, I mean, as the name goes, it's just... A, a brand is a storehouse of value, right? And in the end, personal branding is what people think you are. Simple. Like, when, when your name comes up, what do people think about? Do they think, like, or oh, awesome guy? Or do they think, like, who, who in the world is that? I don't like that guy. <laughs> So, um, you need to control the narrative, right? You need to define yourself. You need to well, create the kind of person you want to be. And and don't just say, oh, uh, uh, I don't really like who I am. I don't know what to do about pe people's perception of me. Oh, my phone. I should put that on silent. You need to define yourself, right? And decide what you want to be. What do you want to be? Like it's something that you actively do. So you got to understand what your brand is and who your brand should appeal to. So who do you want to be to different sets of people? You got to understand the professional, by the way, I'm reading from here. Just understand the professional and personal characteristics that make you unique. The thing about it is that there's stuff about you that is great. Some of it is under a lot of layer of you know, bad decisions, fear, um, all kinds of things that hold you back, right? Indecision. And the awesome you is deep down there inside. And if you, I mean, some, some people listening, you used to know that awesome you when you were much younger, right? That guy was everywhere doing big things. But you tried a couple of things and they didn't work out. And all of a sudden, you don't feel as great as you used to be. Now you think you're not great, but you're still great. So it's inside there somewhere. Now you've got to find it and you've got to keep it in view, keep it in front of you for long enough so that it kind of becomes real to you again. Um, the truth is this. You can change any perception of yourself. You can change any perception of yourself. That's the truth. Um, the fact that you feel not so competent, you feel not so intelligent at this time in your life doesn't mean that that is your truth because there's been times when you felt on top of the world you felt confidence why is that time not the truth why is this time the truth so it tells you that the truth is not about how you feel per time the truth is actually about what you want to be true so you're going to decide your truth right then create a personal mission statement um who are you what are you all about make it clear and define Defining your brand involves self-discovery and unearthing your hidden talents. I'm reading from here and characteristics. So you see, it's in you. It's in you. The truth about it is that when you talk about personal brand, the best version of you is in you. The worst version of you is in you. So which one are you going to give expression? Now, what life does to many people is that life knocks out that excellent guy. You see, life makes you feel beaten down. Oh, I can't do much to help myself. Oh, it's all over. Oh, I got this problem, and I got that problem, and, you know, general problematic stuff. I'm trying to see if this works. Oh, cool. Anyway, so you got all kinds of problems. And because you had all kinds of problems, and then you've tried things, and they didn't work out, all of a sudden, you're knocked 
on one side thinking, how am I ever going to get up? Well, you get up by getting up. So, cool. Next slide is about designing your brand. So, now you got to remember who you are. You're that excellent guy. You're a great guy. You're, I mean, you know, some people say, oh, I used to be so awesome. When I was young, I used to be this. Be now you had a baby. You, um, you know, you, 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 you live in some part of town that is not so great. Life is not quite what you want it to be. So what are you going to do? Are you going to keep living in that reality or you're going to start back? Can I tell you something? The most important person to your success and greatness in life is you. The man in the mirror. If you tell yourself you're not going to give up, nothing can stop you. That's the way it's designed. A lot of people think it's designed in a way that um, the people on the outside have to help you. I mean, come on. I can understand that because, you see, I've been there at a point in time in my life where the Oh, somebody's going to help me, but don't walk that way. The ultimate person to help you is you. And know this, everything you need for your next level is right there with you. That's the funny thing. I like something that uh, someone says. Uh, I think it's, I don't know if you know this guy. His name is Steve Harris. He's really popular in Nigeria. He's, uh, he's like a performance expert type. He says, it's not what you have. It's not what you don't have that limits you. It's what you have that you don't know how to use. That is so true. So it's like you don't know it. So that's the challenge. See, 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 it's not as if you're not competent. It's just that you don't know what to do. And that's what that's why you come and watch videos like this. To help you start thinking. And let ideas come to you so that you can know what to do. So, design your brand. What do you want to look like? Hey, you got to plan it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to fall off the sky. You're not just going to suddenly become this awesome guy. All right? You're going to have to do it purposely. Okay? I, I, I you know... The premise of this podcast is the fact that life is value for value. Value for value. You you don't get until you put in something. You gotta put in something if you want to get some out of it. So you gotta watch your appearance, your hair, your hair very important. Keep it clean, neat. Your clothes, keep them neat, your shoes, your weight. If you if you wanna if you wanna add some weight, maybe you're so slim, you look malnourished. Hey, you may want to add some weight. And you know, some people, I, I want to add some weight, I want to add some weight, and they never do anything about it. Well, you can do something about it. Some people, they want to lose some weight. They want to lose some weight. don't lose some weight. They don't do something about it. Give yourself, you see, give yourself 90 days, all right? Follow the 90-day rule. 90 days. Anybody who cannot commit to a goal for 90 days is unserious, okay? So, don't be unserious. Commit to the goal, 90 days. The next thing about designing your brand is your knowledge. What are you supposed to know? What should you know to reflect your chosen brand? That's why you got to study now. you got to expand your mind, you see. The thing about it is that the challenge you're having is that your mind is not programmed to see the opportunities that are available to you at this level. So your mind is seeing no opportunities. That's because It's not because there are no opportunities. If you give another person your reality, they will be able to transform their lives. But the challenge is that your mind can't see it. So it's not as if you have a problem around where you are. My phone keeps going off. Okay. It's not as if you have a problem, really. The thing is, you have your mind at this time can't figure out how to solve it. I had um um some time back when I first well not really when I started, like I started the business I my I started my, my company and I was having a tough time, ridiculously tough time. And I sat down with a lady one time. She, uh, I don't even think she even she can remember, but she's the Smart, Smart Money Africa, RSA. And she kept doing recording. Uh, I co-founded something called SME 100 some years back, but my friend, uh, he's the one that runs it now, so cool. So she kept doing the recording. I also kept doing the recording too. And we got talking about, because we have similar skills. She says she's very good at breaking down financial jargon into actionable points or whatever it is that people can understand. And she's also great at strategy. All right. I'm very good at teaching people about life, excellence, clarity, you know, in increasing your, optimizing yourself, your performance, optimizing organizations, optimizing nations. I like things functioning at full blast. All right. So everybody who knows me knows that. Okay, cool. So I was talking about Arese and then she just went on and on about how to monetize this thing because she was doing it already. She talked about creating content. She talked about building your pipeline and 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 building your uh, what did, what did she call it? Your platform, your platform, right? She talked about using social media to great effect. Now, all the things she talked about to do, that I went on to then do, and 
started seeing the results where things that were very available to me. They were around me all the while, just that I couldn't figure out how to make them work. And that's the challenge you're having. And you have no option but to learn. You see, that's why learning new things is important. That's why that's why the next thing, your associations. Right here, associations. Associations, yeah. So your associations are very important because see, if you keep talking to the same people, going to the same places, reading the same things, you're not going to change. You're not going to improve. You need new things, right? New people. So you got to pay attention to that. Um, I talked about your physical network. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your books. Books. New books. Like courses like this. You need to take them. Get on YouTube and watch it. Someone say YouTube is expensive. You got to spend money. How much is it? You're going to spend like, what, 200 Naira? Watching one video and that video could give you the idea that's going to make you millions. And why are you not going to do it? anyway and then your attitude right see um so part of designing your brand is about how you relate with other people um be teachable um so always try to to learn be a go-getter never st listen never sit down and hope for the best don't hope for the best until you've done your best hey that's the punchline right there don't hope for the best until you've done your best yeah cool cool stuff all right so be a go-getter uh, and I said, do good, a well wisher, you know, don't, don't always try to bring people down. Then deliver, deliver to your world, deliver your brand to your world. Now that you've decided who you want to be, right? I've told you about getting more knowledge, and you're already getting this knowledge. People are not going to automatically just take notice that oh, you're awesome now. No, you got to actively sell it. You know, say a good product sells itself. Yes, and no. So a good product sells itself in that if people get to find out about the good product, you don't need to sell and sell and sell. They'll buy it naturally. But the thing is, people are not likely going to beat their way to where your good product is. So people are not going to know about it. So a good product sells itself only after people know about it. If people don't know about it, they cannot, they can't buy. You're like this, like stuff you don't know about, you cannot be thinking about buying it because you don't know about it. All right. So. You need to actively help people to know about it first. And if it's a good product, it will then sell itself. So a good product sells itself, but it has to be marketed. Get that? A good product sells it, but it has to be marketed. All right? Marketed just means getting your target market, to take, getting your target audience, wherever it is, your target customer, to know that you exist. Selling is the actual, you know, exchange of value. Now, the good product is going to sell itself because when they see it, they're going to say, oh, it's great. It's going to sell itself. But a good product must be marketed. And you become a good product, you got to market yourself. Um, I'm almost done with this. So social media, I can't talk much on that because of time. Entrepreneurship. Yeah, those are, those are ways you express your value. So go start something. Social development initiatives. I don't like the way women are treated in the society. Do something about it. Do something about it. Your jobs, you can volunteer. These are, these are channels through which you get people to know you. Network. Now, this is the action time, you know. Be on the move. Be on the move. Go and be great. Go and be great. So decide what you want to be. Expand your knowledge so that you can see what is around you that you could use to better effect. And then just go go and do great things with your life. All right. Um, how does this move to the next slide? Oh, yeah. And then, you know, keep improving it. Keep improving it. Get better at it every day. Uh, okay, yeah. This is an exercise for you. Write down five characteristics you want to be known for. Creative, intelligent, beautiful, generous, stupid, mad, crazy whatever it is pick three famous people that inspire in this world from the field of global politics and team and sport like you know just like a model like a guide just you know so that you can but you know there may be nobody in this world who's done what you want to do and that's fine but you know just like a model in one sentence describe yourself now and in another sentence describe yourself what you want to be now this is a key point what do you want to be describe yourself and i wish you all the best keep winning thank you